got nothing to lose, and we're loaded at safety. Yeah. Yeah, well, kind of. We yeah, have I, Bubba, when we have a true. lot of good young players. That's that's a good point. That's a very good point, because, uh, you know, that's something that I preach is talent does not equal production, and I just fell into that trap. So, Oh, you're, Jordan. You're, you're 100% right, is that we don't have a lot of production at safety right now. Yeah, talking to Mike, I'm very, I'm just so excited to, uh, to, to watch James Williams. Yeah. Oh, so I hope, excited. man. The kid uh, has freak potential. Yeah, freaky. Um, Kate, last question. Quick, quick prediction. Schedule came out. Uh, what, what are we doing in 2021? Quick thoughts. Um, nine and three is what I'm thinking. Oh, wow. Look at yeah. you, Mr. Positive. <laughs> yeah. Our, what are you talking about, dude? Everyone on Twitter says that I'm the most negative Canes fan of all time. Until they see that uh, I say eight and four. <clears throat> yeah. Bro. I don't, you, you get away with it better than I do. I don't know what it is. I really don't, dude. I mean, I really don't. Yeah, it's it's, cr- it's And it's funny because I go through the same. Yeah. It's It's the same debate every single year. Yep. And they still don't get it. But I but I don't want to, like, sound negative. I think next year, like, we're going to see a lot of improvements this year. I hope so. I hope so. I mean, the problem is that Alabama is just a loss. You know, it's going to be yeah. – the line's going to be, like, minus 24 for Alabama. Yeah, it, it's going to be, like, minus 56. <laughs> like, yeah. I, and we're going to – Yeah, I don't love playing at North Carolina. I mean – you know, maybe maybe not a lot of our listeners would understand this, but Marsh, like you, you know where the BYU and Utah rivalry is at right now. Yeah, I am worried that we are dangerously close to being in that kind of situation. Like, because Utah on the field isn't a ton better than BYU every year, but there is some type of mental and emotional domination that's going on in that rivalry that it's like. BYU just, for whatever reason, cannot beat Utah. Even if they had better players across the board, I still would probably pick them to lose until they prove that they can win. Yeah. Oh, I mean, 100%. Like, one of the biggest, like, top three goals for Manny this year, you have to beat North Carolina. Yeah. I mean, does does it feel reminiscent of that BYU-Utah situation at all to you? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. I mean, I'm feeling a lot like BYU right now. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, Utah has beaten BYU, I think, 10 straight times. Yeah. But it's it's the mentality, though. Like, we knew that game was over the first drive. Yeah. You know, and, and the Mac Brown situation and them throwing the U down. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the thing where it's like they throw the U down and we want to, like, get them back. But at the end of the day, they blew us out. So what do you do? You know, just you just stick your tongue out and run away crying, you know. You know, I think um, when you look at Utah and BYU, Utah is uh, a much better – besides this year, actually, because BYU played pretty well. But over the last 10 years, during this win streak, Utah has been, uh, you know, a superior, better uh, – you know, a much better program. Miami and UNC, it, it just so happens that this <laughs> this last meeting, UNC played a perfect game and Miami played the absolute worst game. Like, it, yeah. it was a horrible – yeah, you know, it was a it was a horrible matchup. I I don't see that happening again in 2021. Um, you know, they don't. You know, they're losing uh, both running backs, uh, their wide receivers. But you, but the, the, but the hardest thing is, is that that game is going to be on 16 day or off 16 days rest for the Canes. Yeah, 16. And I hereby decree that we have to call Mac Brown Mac Daddy from now on. Because he's 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 uh, our daddy. He's he's our granddaddy. He's so old. <laughs> he is old. Bro, he is he, old. But dude, for some reason, like I feel like he just gets under Manny's skin or something. Like he. I, I don't, don't even think it's that. I just think Manny has like a a mental block. Yeah. Like in 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 going up against him. Yeah. Well. Anyways. Is that uh, good for today? Dude, we, we really need to be better about this because I love doing it. I know you love doing it. I know. It. And uh, I know. we just have a lot going on in life lately. So Let, let's let's plan a date right now. When When's the next episode? Um, Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. I can do Tuesday. Okay. 
right. I, uh, I, I told, uh, I was talking to Mike McCoy. He wants to come on, uh, soon. So, and right. then hopefully, you know, we can, uh, the recruiting show we were talking about before, maybe we yeah. can do something there, but that'd be a lot of fun, man. That would be. Okay. All right. Uh, big thanks to Mike Farrell or Farrell. That yeah. was amazing. I, was. That's a, that's a, that was a huge like stepping stone for us. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I, I think, uh, you know, him coming on and, and just, and plus his perspective was so nice. You know, yeah. we, I feel like we kind of get into an echo chamber because we usually talk to Miami people mm-hmm. and that we all kind of, I mean, we all follow the same people. We all tweet at each other. You know, we kind of get locked into a group narrative. So it was nice to see him where he's like above that stuff, right? Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't get bogged down by the narratives that we see every day on Twitter. So it was nice to have that kind of perspective. And 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 he does he has no problem saying how embarrassing Pope and Wiggins dropping passes is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, we will talk to you guys on Tuesday, and uh, we're just a month away from spring ball. So yeah. until then, until Tuesday, go Canes. Go Canes. This has been the Forza Podcast. Remember to like and leave a comment to help our podcast grow.